Hey everybody! Welcome to our first video in our Photoshop tutorial segment. Today we're going to be talking about downloading images from the internet. Uh, one of the first steps in manipulating photos within Photoshop is to acquire an image, whether it's uploading one from a digital camera or from a scanner or what we will be discussing today, getting an image from the internet. So the first step is to open up an internet browser. It doesn't matter which one, uh, but I will be using Firefox today. And go ahead and navigate to google.com. Uh, this is our first method of downloading images that I will demonstrate today, uh, downloading them from Google. Now before we move on, keep in mind that downloading images from the internet in this manner does not take into consideration copyrights. So you need to be careful when you use images that you download this way. You might want to uh, make sure that you have the proper permissions and things like that. So, once you're at google.com, go ahead and click the images button at the top left and that will filter our search results to only provide uh, the image results. And then in the image field here, go ahead and type the search you're looking for. In this case, I have typed cat, um, and we'll go ahead and search for images of cats. Now, Google will provide you with thumbnail results for uh, the image that it finds for you. So I have lots of thumbnail pictures of cats, and I can uh, cycle through all the different pages that Google has and until I find one that I like. So when I do find one that I like, I simply click the thumbnail picture of that cat and it takes me to a page that looks like this. At the very top, I have a small version of that picture again. And then in this bottom window, I have a view of the website where that image came from. So to download this image, uh, what you'll need to do is click up here where it says see full size image. So go ahead and click on that and it takes you to a page with a full size version of that picture. Now there are a couple ways to proceed from this point. On a PC what you would do is right click this image and then you would click on save image as or something like that. On a Mac however uh, most of the time you don't have a right click on your mouse so what you would need to do is hold the control key on your keyboard and click on the image and now you can go ahead and click on save image as and it will ask you uh, what you want to name the image up here at the top and then where you want to save it I will go ahead and save it to my desktop click save and you'll notice that that image saved to my desktop over here on the right. Another way to save an image on a Mac uh, that's actually kind of easy is to simply click and hold the mouse button on the image and simply drag that image from the website onto the desktop and let go of your mouse button. And it simply saves that image onto the desktop the exactly the same way as uh, right-clicking and saving the image as. So either way uh, that works best for you and that's how you you know simply save an image to your desktop. Now I mentioned before that this does not take into consideration copyrights so I want to show you another way to access images that um, are free to use where the user has uh, Set, set some uh, copyright permissions for users like us to access those images. So if you go ahead and navigate to flickr.com www.flickr.com you will get to uh, the Flickr website. And here, uh, once you have an account, it's totally free to sign up, you can search other people's images and we will do just that. We will go up here to the top search field and we will search for cats again. Click search 
And much like Google, it gives us small little versions of the pictures um, and gives us many pages of pictures that we can browse through. Now what I want to do is I want to search for pictures that have the Creative Commons license attached to them, uh, meaning that uh, they have a little bit freer use uh, for download. So if I click on Advanced Search here at the top of the page next to my search field, I will get some search options. And if I scroll down the page, the very bottom option is this Creative Commons search option. So I can check this box here that says only search within the Creative Commons licensed content and then I will click the box that says find content to modify, adapt, or build upon. And If I click search one more time it will provide me with results of pictures that I can download without having to worry too much about copyrights. So if I find one here that I like, let's say I like this angry cat, I can click on the image and it will take me to this user's page. Now you'll notice above this picture we have an icon that says all sizes and we'll want to click on that button and now we have the large version of this picture and we can click on download the original size right here above the picture. And When we do that we have the option to save the file go ahead and click OK and it puts that picture on our desktop. And Similarly I can click and hold my mouse button on this image and drag it from the website to the desktop and it saves it just the same. So those are just a couple ways to save images to your computer from the internet. And our next set of videos are going to be talking about how to uh, adjust those images, edit them, and manipulate them uh, to meet the needs uh, that you might have, especially the needs for the assignment for Ed421. So go ahead and check those videos out and learn how to manipulate your photos.